What's going on guys, really good pie here and welcome to the Minor Meta tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we'll be covering the Minor Meta, which is a Minecraft animation software uh, created by David. Uh, stuff by David here, so I'm assuming that's who created it. Um, uh, next thing we're going to want to do is download Minor Meta. So, uh, links in the description or you can search it on Google. So you want to go down to this dy download minimator.zip and after you've done that you want to extract it to your desktop or any place that is suitable to you. Once you've extracted it, open up Minimator, the application, and we're good to go. So once Minimator is opened, you're going to want to resize it to whatever size you want and we're going to cover some controls. You see that controls are already uh, told to you in the top corner of the screen. So if we click, we can move around in a circle of motion. The mouse wheel is used to zoom out and zoom in. Right click is used to look around from a position. We have WSD with a right click, and that moves forward, and that moves the camera. We have uh, E and Q, which goes up and down. And we have space, which increases the tempo, but we'll see that later. So first, what we're going to want to do is go to Instances, which is in the Side tab. And we're going to create, sorry, so we go to Project Properties, uh, Library, I'm going to Add, I'm going to add a character. So you see that a character just popped up on the screen. And we can move the camera by using the controls. And let's create a walking animation. Now this is already predefined within Minimator. So whoever created this program has already programmed it into creating a walking animation. So to do that, we go down to the timeline here and we double click that and we create a keyframe. And if we go Let's go to around 40, and we click on the timeline, and we create a new keyframe. But this time, we're going to move the character. We can do that by going to the position tab, and you notice that similar to Blender, if you ever used it, we have the axes movement points. So we're going to move it along the x axis, sorry, the z axis, and we're going to move it to about there. Now we, we're going to click on this first keyframe and we're going to create walking animation to next keyframe. So if we go ahead and press play, you'll notice that that's a basic walking animation for Steve. Uh, we can go into, we can close off this character options and we can click, we can pause the video and we're going to change the model to be a sheep. So if we press play, Notice that the walking animations still work. We can change it to a silverfish. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to increase the tempo here, and that's basically the frame rates, frames per second. And we're going to change it to a blue unicorn. I don't know what this is, but yeah. So you can mess around with that, you can change the model. Um, you can make it whatever you want, but for now we're just going to make it a creeper, because everybody likes creepers. So we've got that, now we're going to set up the camera. You notice that now we can move the camera to whatever position we want to, even though the video is playing. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a fixed camera. So go back to, set the video back to keyframe 1, and get it in a suitable get the camera in a suitable position. So mine's going to be here. And we're going to go to instances and you see that there's an X over the show in timeline right here. So just get rid of that. Again, make a keyframe in the camera timeline place and set that to a position you want to. And there we go. So next thing, we're going to want to 
go here, go to the end of the frame, create a new keyframe, go to the next position that you want it to be displayed, and if we go ahead and play that now, you see that the camera follows the creeper as it's walking. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a little pan to the front of the creeper. So if we go like this, and we're going to go from up there, from the bottom, and there we go. So if we go ahead and play that, and there we go. Now we'll just create another keyframe just to keep it there. So if we play that animation. So you notice that this is pretty easy to um, work with and you can create some nice animations using this, uh, all these predefined things and this is basically made for Minecraft. So we're going to create another um, item, so get rid of this and we'll create another, sorry, library item and we'll create a special block and we'll put a chest here. So where are the, where's the chest? Alright. So click that in the timeline, create a keyframe, as you would. And we're gonna put that where the creeper basically goes. So over here. Now if we move this forward. Sorry. Uh right. So go back to the first keyframe. have the creeper open up the chest. And we'll go further on here. Go to about uh, frame 75. Let's have the creeper walk up to the chest. So create a new keyframe. Um, we're going to want to create another keyframe here so we can do the walking animation again. So right click, create walking animation to next frame, there we go, and we'll have the chest open. So go to the chest, create a new keyframe for the chest, uh, and we're going to have this swing open. that there is no uh, pickaxe that's visible. 
but we can still see it through the um, what do you call it movement lines. And we'll set that to an appropriate position. Drag it up. And just want to get it so it's on the creeper's left arm. And there we go. So let's go to where the chest is opened. And we're going to reposition this again. So there we go. So let's move this here. Let's create a keyframe around about here at 80. Sorry, at 85. And we'll go to about 90. And we're just going to change the scale of that. So, scale. We'll change that to 1. Now we're going to rotate this. So this is there. I'm going to move it down a bit. And we're going to position that to the correct place. Right, and there we go. So... There they are. Um, don't know what's happened here. Let's just uh, redo this, sorry. Made a mistake. Alright, sorry, maybe if we can do this. Let's just set the scale to that. There we go. And then we're going to close the chest. So select the top, and we'll just rotate this down. There we go. So let's play that. Alright, you see it's a bit jumpy, I guess, but that's um, basically our first animation. So, there we go. Um, we can export this as a movie, so, yes, we want to save the animation. And we'll save it to desktop. Um, save it to whatever you uh, save it as whatever you like. And just. Uh, use whatever codec you feel necessary. Uh, I'll use Microsoft Video. And I'll press OK. And there we go. So this is going to render the animation. opening in Windows Media Player and you can see the animation. It's a bit jumpy but that's probably because of the codec I chose to use. So we can close that and that concludes the tutorial. Um, if this helped you in any way please give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.